Hi everyone, welcome to 2018. I'm going to start off um, the year by doing something slightly different. I'm going to do a first impression review um, of the Sroka subfoil. Um, I'm not going to do like a full review like I normally do for the foil review series because I'm not going to have enough time to test this foil for the usual time I do them. I usually take at least two to three weeks um, to test these foils so I really know the ins and outs and with this I am only gonna get a chance to ride it a couple of times um, I got a chance to ride it this morning and yeah I, it was a good first impression um, first off the foil does work um, the thing about it for me was I'm used to fairly big wings now from the go foils the Takumas etc all the other sub foils I've tested um, this wing is fairly small. To me, it looks like it's about 20% less area than a GoFoil Kai. Um, and that makes it really noticeable um, once you sort of get past the wave, when you get into sort of a non-breaking section of the wave, um, that it doesn't continue on, doesn't glide on like the Iwa wing that I'm used to at the moment does. So, um, at least for my weight, the wing is a bit small. Um, I have been told that Stroka, however, is designing um, a larger wing. They're already testing it, actually. So, I think that will be actually pretty cool. From the standpoint of the actual ride, when I was still in the wave, it lifted up quite controllably. Um, it was fairly easy to control. I could sort of carve it left and right. Um, pumping, as I said before because the wings quite small didn't really bring enough sort of glide with it to have any real use so this foil typically tends to be used in like a little bit larger waves and not really for like um, continuing on on a small bump um, if you wanted to you can use this foil for um, kiting also I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. Um, that will be pretty good for the wave riding. And also the guys who actually like towing into larger waves and so on, I think you'll actually quite like this. This wing is quite agile, um, it's quite light, and for the price point, you are not gonna find anything else sort of in that price range. Um, so let's go outside and have a closer look at the foil. So as you can see, this is it. I was riding it on a plate adapter um, because I don't have any pro box um, boards. As you can see, the wing is relatively small. They have a very large solid um, aluminum fuselage. Um, what's sort of special about this, the screws themselves um, are held by helicoil, um, by helicoils in the in the fuselage. Normally most brands um, drill and tap straight into the fuselage without having anything in there um, and they've put helicoils they think that it's a stronger way of doing this. You've got three M6 screws holding the fuselage and mass together, three for the front wing and two for the back wing. The back wing is completely flat, no anhedral or dihedral and you have an anhedral on the front wing. As I said before, I'm using it with the adapter that they gave me. This is a Pro Box adapter to plate adapter. Um, and there's a little spacing on there so you can actually use it on the Zico type system too, which is the 85 millimeter spacing. And yeah, I did test it. The wing does float. I'm not sure if it'll float the entire foil, but it does float. Um, later on today, um, Mathieu Milieu, the graphic designer, will pop by and we'll talk a bit about the other foils. I'll probably put that in a separate video. So, hope this gave you guys a bit of an insight on the new Sroka subfoil and I'll see you next time. Bye!